All right, shifting our focus now, PDP Chief Mehbooba Mufti has sparked a massive controversy, uh, saying nothing new is happening in Pakistan. The situation here is no different. The Enforcement Directorate and the CBI are being used against the opposition. See what they did to Manish Sisodia, as well as K. Kavita, as well as Lalu Prashad Yadav, as well as the other opposition party leaders equating India to Pakistan. Shocker from the PDP chief. The PDP chief Mehbooba Mufti comparing India to Pakistan, talking about Imran Khan's uh, impending arrest. Mehbooba Mufti saying, look what's happening in the country. The situation in Pakistan and India are not really different. It's quite similar. All right, this is a reaction coming in from the PDP chief. We'll play out her reaction in a short while from now. Uh, Looking at what's happening in Pakistan and talking about the developments in Pakistan, the PDP chief Mehbooba Mufti making this statement sparking a massive controversy. She says that what's happening in Pakistan is no different from what's happening in India. She claims that the situation in both the countries is quite similar. She said that the central agencies are also being used by the center here in India to target the opposition leaders and that's exactly what's happening in Pakistan as well. Saying that the ED and the CBI are being used against the opposition leaders. Uh, she says, look at what's happening with Manish Sisodia, with K. Kavita, Lalu Prasad Yadav. The opposition party leaders are targeted by the center. My colleague Pradeep Datta joining us on the broadcast with the details. Before we play out that reaction that is coming in from Mehbooba Mufti, Pradeep, this is a complete shocker, making a very, very bizarre comparison. Mehbooba Mufti says what's happening in Pakistan and India is the same. It's really unfortunate that uh, you can't equate the situation on both sides of the border because everybody knows India is a democratic country and in Pakistan it's either the Pakistan army or America that decides who has to be in power. And in fact Imran Khan is also talking about that. In, uh, on several occasions Imran Khan has tried to compare the situation with India saying that how the things are far better. He has often played the clip of uh, foreign minister uh, in, uh, showing that how India has got a neutral diplomatic policy while as he had been critical of the po diplomatic policy of Pakistan. See, two situations can't be compared. One, that India is a vibrant democracy. Second, if you look at the Indian economy, it is far, far, far better than Pakistan. And Pakistan, you can often see the leaders are moving with the begging ball. So you can't compare situation. Nobody is about law. If somebody else has done good, uh, wrong, they will be obviously investigated either by the ED, CBI or any other agency. So I don't think that anybody has to cry horse over this issue. You can't compare because we have seen that that has been the politics. What really happened with General Zia? What really happened with uh, Zulfi? Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, he appointed General Zia and General Zia was the one who put him behind bar or bizarre charges and finally he was hanged. And the same had been the fate of many other leaders also. Musharraf had to flee from Pakistan. Nothing of that sort has happened in India because here in India, I think it is the people who decide who has to be leader and who has to uh, lead the country. Not that the puppet prime ministers are installed there either by the inter-service intelligence or Pakistan army. And that's one of the reasons that whenever they feel that person is good for them, and they keep them, uh, him or her on cheer. And that happened with the Benazir Bhutto, that happened with um, Nawaz Sharif in the past, that happened yes. with Imran Khan, and now it is Shahbaz Sharif. Everybody knows what kind of a sham democracy Pakistan is having. So you can compare the two situations, but problem with Mahbubha Mufti is that she will never yes. ever try to give credit uh, to this present government. Reason being, ever since she had been booted out of power, she's only looking for rhyme and reason That's to right. hit out at the government, uh, sometimes trying to compare it with Pakistan, sometimes trying to say that things are not really good. Absolutely. And uh, look at the examples that she's quoting as well, Pradeep. No mention of the allegations that the opposition leaders are facing, only talking about the fact that they are being targeted. That's what Mehbooba Mufti is saying. And, uh, you know, the case in Pakistan being completely different, not acknowledging that India is a vibrant democracy that is being hailed world over, instead criticizing. Stay on with us. We have Mr. Manjinder Singh Sirsa on the phone line with us. Mr. Sirsa, Mehbooba Mufti says what's happening in Pakistan and India is alike. Pakistan is no different from India. What do you want to say to that? See, Mehbooba Mufti Kajburi hai, wo Pakistan ki baasha bol rahi hai, aur Pakistan ko kahi na kahi kushan de rahi hai. Ye keh kar ki unki halat aur hamari halat mein fark nahi. Aaj unko ye yaad rakhna chahiye. Pakistan ek bookmari ki kagar par pahunch gaya. Wahan ke pradhan mantri khud keh rahe hai ki hamare haath mein Bharat ne kotora pakda diya. ऐसा मुल्क जिसके अंदर कोई लॉ नहीं है जिसके अंदर कोई डेमोक्रेसी नहीं है और दूसरी तरफ 
महबूबा मुफ्ती जैसे लोग पाकिस्तान की सपोर्ट करने के बावजूद इस मुल्क के अंदर राज करने की कल्पना करते हैं तो आप सोचते जी कितना अंतर डेमोक्रेसी के अंदर अगर यही बात महबूबा मुफ्ती ने पाकिस्तान में रहकर बोली होती तो शायद अब तक उनको तो फांसी भी दे देते वहां के लोग लेकिन ये मुल्क इतना संजीदा है कि सबकी बात सुनता है और महबूबा मुफ्ती जैसे लोग पाकिस्तान का समर्थन करने के बाद भी इस देश के अंदर रहते हैं देश का खाते हैं इससे आप कल्पना कर लीजिए कि देश की दोनों में कितना अंतर है इसलिए महबूबा मुफ्ती केवल चंद वोटों के लिए अपने एक फिर के वो वादी वोट के लिए ये सब कुछ बोल रही हैं जबकि उनको भी पता है कि अब कुछ भी करने के बावजूद उनके हाथ में सत्ता नहीं आने वाली लेकिन देश के साथ गदारी करनी देश के बारे में ऐसा पूरा बोलना ये अच्छी बात नहीं है जी लेकिन कंपैरिजन कर भी रही हैं तो कैसे कंपैरिजन कर रहे हैं कह रहे हैं कि पाकिस्तान से आई मीन कंपेयरिंग टू पाकिस्तान एट अ टाइम वेन पाकिस्तान हैज बिकम अ जोक अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन इंडिया इज बींग हेल्ड बाई अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एट अ टाइम लाइक दिस महबूबा मुफ्ती मेकिंग अ वेरी लाफेबल कंपेरिजन वेन शी सेज दट इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान द सिचुएशन इज नो डिफरेंट नो वेरी ट्रू दैट्स वॉट आई सेड कि जब जब उनको ये बचाने के लिए कोशिश करें जबकि उनको पता है पाकिस्तान के आज हालात क्या है आप सब जानते हैं पाकिस्तान के पास तो खाने को नहीं है आटे के लिए लाइनें लग रही हैं पाकिस्तान तो जगह जगह देश दुनिया में भीख मांगने जाता है लेकिन उनको कोई भीख भी देने को तैयार नहीं और ये हम नहीं कह रहे पाकिस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री खुद कह रहे हैं कि हमारे हाथ में कटोरा पकड़ा दिया गया तो अब इन हालातों के बावजूद अगर हमारे ही मुल्क की एक सूबे की मुख्यमंत्री रही इस तरह से मुफ्ती मोहम्मद जी मुफ्ती जी बोले तो आप समझ सकते हैं खतना कर सकते हैं वो किस एनी थिंग फॉर पॉलिटिक्स दैट्स वॉट यू सेंग मिस्टर मंजिंदर सिंह सिरसा थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस वी ऑल्सो है मिस्टर एस पी वैद ज्वाइनिंग अस ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट मिस्टर वैद आई यू प्राइव बी द बेस्ट पर्सन टू आंसर दिस महबूबा मुफ्ती मेकिंग दिस बिजार कंपेरिजन सेंग इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान आर नो डिफरेंट नो कंपेरिजन बिटवीन पाकिस्तान एंड इंडिया इंडिया इज इमर्जिंग एस फिफ्थ biggest economy in the world and very soon it will be fourth and third uh, as per projections of the world bank and imf and uh, pakistan you know the whole world knows they they have already gone bankrupt the, they have the uh, prime minister and all their leaders i keep watching their channels they are in a dire situation the people are facing very very difficult time i infer i pity the people of pakistan the, the difficult time they are going through uh, this is yes. fault of their leaders and the establishment mm. who are responsible for this and uh, but the question being for politics does it even you know trans the truth that's the question mr ved thank you for joining us also want to introduce major general jiri bakshi on the broadcast with us uh, diplomatically pakistan has become a joke the people uh, in the country are suffering mehbooba mufti do claims that india and pakistan are alike I, I don't know what to make of Mehbooba Mufti's, uh, you know, psychological stability or objectivity. Even as a mature adult, I hope she is seeing the news from Pakistan, and I hope what she sees the news in India. At least I hope she reads the newspapers. The simple fact is, India is already the fifth. largest economy in the world we just trumped the united kingdom to reach that spot we are likely to reach the third spot the imf says india is one of the bright spots in a dismal global scenario uh, that is india it's a study in contrast as far as pakistan is concerned pakistan is facing economic meltdown pakistan is facing ruination pakistan is on the brink of political turmoil it's got huge security problems the uh, terrorist chickens are coming okay. home to roost how can you compare the two situations yes. unless you are psychotic absolutely how can they even be compared but unfortunately it looks like mehbooba mufti has done it again slipping into a short break here we'll be right back